Next, we have a few general items. We have the annual report from the Downtown Yuba City Business Improvement District and proposed levy of annual assessment for 2018. We have Darren Gale. Good evening, Madam Mayor and City Council members. Darren Gale, your Deputy City Manager. Uh, it's my opportunity to uh, introduce our Downtown Business Association. Uh, Shanda, are you going to be the one that presents? So uh, there's two items uh, tonight. First is to receive a presentation from the president of the DPA on their annual report. And the second one is to adopt a resolution and set a public hearing for the next meeting as it relates to your annual assessment and levy for your downtown business association. Uh, this is something that occurs every single year. We have a very strong downtown business association, which is demonstrated in what they do on a daily basis. and. Uh, they hold a number of uh, key community events. I know that they'll probably talk about many of them, but I, I just want to talk about one of my favorites, which is the First Thursday. And this past uh, uh, First Thursday was just amazingly successful where they had a trick-or-treat uh, down on Plumas Street. And uh, I'm guessing well over 500 kids at least. 1,500. Is that what I saw? <laughs> Somewhere between, between there and 1,500, but just an amazing event uh, that I hope residents, uh, as, as the DBA has, has tried to, uh, consistently have this uh, first Thursday event for the last uh, couple of years. Uh, it's a great opportunity to go out uh, and to uh, patronize our local uh, businesses down on Plymouth Street. So at this time, I'll introduce uh, uh, Shanda Carlson with the Sopa Tie. She's the president. I know we also have Sandy Drown with Happy Viking, Crystal Mar uh, Martin, who is the coordinator, Cindy Payne with Cindy Payne Properties, <laughs> and uh, Angela Butler with uh, Milani Opticals. And if you'd like to come up and give your presentation. Thank you, Darren. Good evening, Madam Mayor, distinguished <coughs> city council members. Again, my name is Shanda Carlton, and I am the current president of the Yuba City Downtown Business Association. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to present you with our annual report. The Yuba City downtown Plumas Street area has not changed from last year to this year. The downtown business improvement district is still zoned for either commercial use A or B or zoned for residential use. Hopefully with the help of the downtown specific plan, the expansion of the 5th Street Bridge and new potential business opportunities, uh, the DBA will see this expand. On July 31st, 2018-2019 officers were uh, sworn in by our local mayor. Uh, thank you everyone that was able to attend. My executive officers are Joe Federico as vice president, Cameo Aerosmith as treasurer, and Angela Butler as secretary. Our six returning directors are Cashlyn Gillis, Pancho Serrano, Jim Matthews, Sandy Drum, Teresa Schmidt, and Cindy Payne. We are happy to welcome three new directors this year, JJ Husky from Freedom Mortgage, Danielle Blackmer from Oro Jewelry and Loan, and Ryan Henshaw from State Farm Henshaw's Insurance. With a full board that is motivated and excited to work with the community, county, and city, I present to you our current committee chairs and members. The executive committee makes up myself, as well as the vice president, Joe Federico, our treasurer, Cameo, and our secretary, Angela. Our events committee is chaired by Sandy, and our marketing and beautification committee, this year we're doing a co-chair. We have Ryan as the chair and JG as a co-chair. The mission of the Yuba City Downtown Business Association is to preserve, promote, and encourage aspiring businesses and provide a safe, clean center of culture and community life for residents and visitors alike. Last year, the Downtown Business Association was a member of the Yuba City Chamber of Commerce, and we also joined the California Main Street Alliance. 
four of our board members attended a conference last summer in Pleasanton and returned with so many new inventive ideas for the community and for Plymouth Street. Those both committees are very excited to see what they can implement throughout this upcoming year. In January 2018, the DBA contracted with Crystal Martin on a part-time basis as the new coordinator. She maintains our administrative office at 409 Center Street, Suite A, and handles our daily accounts payable, accounts receivable, and all of our social media platforms, as well as all of our event coordinator duties. The DBA has accomplished some great community events over the last year. In December 2017, we hosted our annual Christmas stroll with an approximate attendance of almost 20,000 people. This free event for the community consisted of numerous vendors, two food courts, a North Pole with pictures with Santa, and a small parade ending at the water tower for our tree lighting ceremony by our new mayor, in March this year, we introduced a new free event for the community, our Bunny Hop Scavenger Hunt. The new event was a huge success with potential for growth next spring. Beginning in April and continuing through October, the DBA held First Thursday. Every First Thursday this year had a specific theme, and our Walk the Loop was picking up pace. There was live music on the beautiful sidewalks of Plymouth Street, small vendors in the water tower parking lot, and artists were showcased at the Sutter Theater. The first Trick or Treat the Street was held last October with almost 1,500 kids visiting our downtown businesses. In June, we held our annual Summer Stroll. This free event for the community had approximately 17,000 attendees. This year, the DBA used a strategic marketing plan that enabled us to reach out to diverse demographic groups through social media. By being more creative with our budget and adding more sponsors, we were able to increase our revenue from the summer stroll by 30%. We had three stages, a beer garden, two food courts, an amazing kids zone, and plenty of vendors. The weather was perfect, and let's just say there was fun for all ages. The DBA currently has 22 associate members. And actually, this is now at 24 since this has been printed. Uh, these are businesses that are not located downtown. However, they want to be a part of and show their support for the downtown district. This year, we welcome eight new associate members. Best Collateral, Clean Right Build Right, Freedom Mortgage, Praise Chapel, Payne Properties, Sunsweet Growers, and there are two newly joined, which are Printworks and Sandra's Mexican. Within the last year, we've also added three new businesses to the DBA. We welcome Sergio's, South of Center, and trendy home consignments. This currently brings our total members of the DBA, including our associate members, to 97 total. We only had two businesses close. One was Hair Productions, which is now Sergio's, was just a name change, and also BU Women's Center, which is retrying to open back up. The projected income from dues collected <clears throat> from all of our members over the last fiscal year was approximately $33,000. I appreciate your time. This is the conclusion of our annual report. I didn't want to get into a lot of the other of it because I know you've all received a big, huge packet. Um, but I appreciate your time, your willingness to improve and strengthen our relationship with the city of Yuba City. Your generosity, your assistance, it continues to help our downtown. It just thrives because of everything that you do. And we thank you guys so much. And if there's any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Thank you so much.
I just want to say thank you so much for all the hard work that you put down in downtown. I mean, it is vibrant because of all the work that you put into keeping that that way and continue to grow that. So thank you for all the work that you do. So just would ask the council for uh, the recommended actions of uh, approve the annual report, adopt the resolution, and set the public hearing for November 6th. Great. To the council. Uh, Move to approve the annual report as filed. Adopt the resolution of intent, intention to levy and collect 2019 annual assessments and set a public hearing for November the 6th, 2018. I will second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposition? Great. Thank you. Okay.